Uber and Airbnb seemed like fantastical ideas eight years ago, as their founders pursued visions that skirted regulators and evaded local laws. So how have they become two of the largest companies in Silicon Valley? With help on a strange new political theorem called Travis's Law. It goes something like this. Our product is so superior to the status quo that if we give people the opportunity to try it, they will defend it and demand its right to exist. So who's Travis? Travis Kalanick, co-founder and CEO of one of the most controversial companies in the world, Uber. Travis's law was first advanced during the company's big fight with the Washington, D.C. City Council in 2012. Just because people are stuck doesn't mean that Uber has to work harder. It just means that they're able to exploit and charge more. The city was impounding cars and fining Uber drivers for operating illegally. In response, Kalanick urged thousands of Uber customers to write letters to the D.C. City Council members. It worked. Faced with a popular product and a mobilized user base, the city council backed down. Travis's law doesn't only apply to Uber. Its twin upstart, Airbnb, has mobilized its devoted community of hosts and travelers against initiatives like Prop F, which would have limited the number of nights Airbnb hosts could list their homes. Hi, I'd like to file a short-term rental complaint. I want the city to come and investigate. Vote no on Prop F. It's just too extreme. But Travis's law doesn't always work. Uber has lost battles recently in Austin, Texas, and many cities in Europe, places where taxi interests organized effectively and where Uber was seen as an obnoxious interloper from Silicon Valley. And new restrictions have been placed on Airbnb hosts in places like San Francisco, New York City, and Paris. The upstarts have now become the status quo. They're well-capitalized, powerful, and often speak in the formal tone of a corporation. Liquidity. It turns into productivity, productivity turns into lower prices, which turns into more liquidity. Users now respond with less vigor to their calls for action and are likely to think the worst of their motivations and to wonder about the side effects that they're having on their communities. Travis's law might have carried the upstarts over their first decade, but they'll definitely need more than that if they're going to win a new round of difficult battles ahead.